Now what could you be weak? It's weak to fire! <laughs> This'll be easy! Persona! Let me hear it goes then! <gasps> wow, now to clear <laughs> you to hit two enemies! <laughs>
to darkness. It's doomed. <laughs> Three enemies All right, defeated. keep going. You're so cool, Senpai. Yes! yes, we won. Congrats, guys. Now what could you be weak to? It's weak to ice. This'll be easy. It's no
Now what could you be weak? It's weak to ice. This Soda! Yes, we won! Con Chan's voice. Mom, where are you? Why did you disappear? Why did you leave me? No, come back. Are these Nanako Chan's feelings? But I'm not lonely. I have Dad with me. I know he's always late coming home. And he never plays with me because he's so busy. He can't cook or do laundry either. 
He tries to be nice, though he is a little scary sometimes. But I love him. Big Bro is with me now, too. So I'm not alone. I'm not lonely. Little kid. Telling herself she's not lonely so she doesn't fall apart. You idiot. We'll ruin everything if we act all sad. We gotta greet her with a smile. Nana-chan. What's the matter? Something's not right. There's someone here besides Nanako-chan. It was faint at first, so I couldn't tell for sure. But there's definitely another person here. And whoever this is, their power's getting stronger. Could it be Namatame? Did he duck in here after being cornered like Mitsuo? Perhaps so. It seemed as if he was particularly determined to kidnap Nanako-chan. But why? If he's the real culprit, he must know the dangers of coming into this world. I don't know, but if it is him, he may have entered from a TV near the site of the accident. Perhaps even the TV in his truck. Which means Nanako-chan may be in grave danger. We must hurry. Persona! Whoa, we got one leap to electricity. That rule! We said scan! <laughs> it's so puny! Use electricity on it! Persona! <laughs> Five enemies appeared. Gee, this is nuts. There, got it. Electricity will work. This will be easy. <laughs> All right, we won. We did it. It's level up time. immune to wind. Persona! One more on the enemy side. Hang in there. Wow, it's puny. Persona! My skills have been honed.
All yours! Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. What? It reset scan! <laughs> it's so puny. You have two enemies left. Don't lower your guard now. <laughs> two enemies dead. Our moment Precisely. has been... Do it. Oh, did I level up? You be weak. It's weak to wind. My level has risen.
into darkness. Let's go! Blast, it won't work! Persona! Oh, I can't defeat it! Persona! Serves him right! You leveled up! Excellent! Yes! I leveled up! Is. I should work well. You could... Just two left. Come on, this fight's not over. Persona! Two enemies. Precisely. Yeah. It's showtime. Are you ready? Yes. Let's finish them. Go! Knock them out! You mustn't go! Want? I want to save people. Taro Namatame. It's definitely him. Then he did come in here. So you're the killer! Let go of her! Ah, uh, <laughs> you're the ones I saved. Don't worry, I'll save this girl too. Huh? Is this dude hide or something? Quit talking shit and let go of the girl! Don't... don't come near me! <gasps> Nanako 
Ochan! Calm down, Kanji-kun. We can't predict his behavior. We have to keep him talking. If we can discern his intentions, perhaps we can somehow deal with him. To save them. People needing to be saved appear. That's why I put them in the TV. No, we must pull his attention away from Nanako-chan. You put the people you saw on the Midnight Channel into this world, am I correct? They all want to be saved. Did I ever ask you to save me? You didn't save us, damn it! It was the exact opposite! If I hadn't put you in the TV, how would you have ended up... How would we? Are you trying to say we wouldn't have been able to face ourselves? What? But we nearly died! Yes. Exactly. You kidnapped them. Yes or no? Yes. Why did you target local residents who became known through the media? Why do these people appear on the Midnight Channel? On rainy nights. On TV. They signal me. To save them. You keep saying save this and save that. Are you saying murdering people is your idea of saving them? Murder? No. I'm saving them. How's that different, huh? All you're doing is killing people! <laughs> if you want to think that, go ahead. I know. You chased us all the way here... to kill. <laughs> well, too bad. I'm gonna save her. <laughs> you asshole! You're not gonna get away with this! Shut the hell up! <laughs> what a wonderful world! An unknown, unreachable place filled with pleasant fog. I'm a savior! It's filthy over there. So many evildoers. That's why I'm going to save them! I'm a savior! A righteous hero! Is that... a shadow? Chan! Let's do this. Now, Senpai! Nana chan! Nanako chan? Nanako chan! Bastard! How dare you! Give her back. I. I'm going to save her! Uh, 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 what's happening to him? If we don't do something, this could be bad! His powers are attracting more and more shadows to him! You guys got any suggestions? Look at him! He's merging with the shadows! I... I'm going to save her! 
Don't interfere! How solid is his grasp on reality? I... I'm... Soda! anywhere this place must not be good for her we need to carry her out quick
We should take him with us as well. Yeah, we can't just leave him here, I guess. Nanako-chan, hang in there. What are we gonna do? She's so small, and she was stuck in there for so long, and then there was that weird fog. Damn it! The police and paramedics will be here shortly. Nana-chan's still small, so her other self didn't appear like everyone else. And she got caught in all that craziness. I hope she'll be okay. I mean, are the doctors going to be able to help her? <laughs> I'm worried about Nana-chan! But there's nothing more we can do for her. A delivery man named Namatame. The possibility of Nanako-chan being targeted, if only I'd been more thorough in putting the facts together, then Nanako-chan wouldn't have had to go through this. That goes for me too. If I hadn't stood there like a lump in front of that bastard, Nanako-chan might have been okay. I hate myself. Why do I always panic when it matters most? I couldn't do anything either. I should have noticed sooner that something was wrong with that guy. Why did I waste time listening to what Namatame had to say? If I hadn't tried to engage him in conversation, and we'd rescued Nanako-chan immediately, this wouldn't have happened. But I still... All right. Enough of this pity party. Is standing around and whining really what we ought to be doing now? Feeling pathetic, consoling each other? That gonna solve anything? We gotta believe in her. So stop rehashing what's already done. Get it together, Naoto! <laughs> Sorry. You're absolutely right. This is all that bastard Namatame's fault. And he's behind bars now, right? And it ain't like we were too late for Nanako-chan. Yeah, that's true. I'll come see Nanachan every day so she'll get better faster. That's all we can do right now. Gee, Kanji. You sounded cool for a second there. Huh? You guys still here? Adachi-san, um, did they find out anything? Dojima-san speaking with the doctor now, but they can't say anything definite until they run some tests on her. Not just Nanako-chan, but the perp too. Who knows when we'll be able to hear his story. Well, it's getting late, so hurry home. The last thing we need is for you guys to collapse too. He's right. We should call it a night. Nanako-chan's gonna be fine. Acting all gloomy won't help anything. When Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, what should we do to celebrate? Dude, isn't it a little early for that? Why don't we reserve Juness and have a party there? A party at Juness? Uh, that makes no sense. Nana-chan, she'll get better, right? Yeah, I do believe in her. Let's all have fun with Nana-chan when she comes back. Thanks. I almost forgot how to keep a happy face. But with that out of the way, I'm feeling all hungry. <laughs> hey! Where did everyone go? Don't leave without me!
Huh? You didn't go home yet? Uh, I heard. Thanks. <sighs> Long ago. I'm so relieved. Dojima-san? You awake? I guess it's no surprise. He was so stressed out over Nanako-chan. I'll stay with him tonight. You can go home and rest, even if it's just for a little while. Good. Nanako-chan's safe, and that's what matters. You really should get some rest. Hurry and go, your friends are waiting, aren't they?
Oh, hello. Thank you. <laughs> then I'll see you again.
about this. Mister. <laughs> Mr. Thank you. That line over there is the shopping district. That's us. <laughs> We're so small. I need to remember that. Senpai, you're leaving in the spring, right? I've made up my mind about something. You see, I'm thinking of going back into showbiz this spring. I am Rizet, after all. And when I consider it that way, I think I can have more fun working. I know how hard it is for a star to make a comeback after an entire year's absence. But even then, I want to start over from the beginning. Do you remember the fan who gave me that letter? And my old manager, Inoue-san? For my family, everyone, you, and for myself. Senpai, this... I want you to have it, Senpai. It's the one we took at school. I look really normal, don't I? But even then, I signed it Rosette. A Rosette without a fake smile. Senpai, I won't make the same mistake. I won't run away. I won't try to be someone I'm not. The many Riseis inside of me, 
I want to cherish them. I quit thinking about such stupid things. I mean, in reality, there's no such thing as a real me or a fake me. As long as you know what you really want to do, no matter how hard it is, you'll be okay. I can do it! have changed? I see. I've become a little stronger. Thanks to you being with me. I want to find lots of different me's. And I want to get stronger, so instead of running away from them, I'll welcome them with open arms. I was relying on you, but I want to be able to stand on my own two feet. Thank you, Senpai. I love you. I got that out. I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's go eat somewhere. After all, come spring, I won't be able to do that anymore. Let's go, senpai. Good day. Thank you.
Let's go. <laughs> I'll see you again. Senpai. Oh.
Oh, hi. Yes. Just stop it! See you again.
Uh, hey. I'm sorry. Go home! Senpai. Yeah! The other day I went to visit Dad's grave. It's the first time I went on my own. I had a lot to tell him. How was it? Well, I felt like I could finally face him. A little late, though. <laughs> Dad told me something right before he died. If you're a man, you have to become strong. I felt like he was telling me I wasn't a real man. It pissed me off. So I changed my looks and pushed myself away from people. Fighting gangs, thinking I was protecting mom, trying to catch this killer. I thought all that was how I was becoming strong. That I was really making up for all the trouble I caused. I was drunk off my power. But that wasn't it. That ain't what dad meant. I still don't really get what being strong means, but I'm gonna start by not lying to myself. No more being scared of everyone, hiding my hobbies, staying away from people. Anytime, any place, I'm gonna bust right through as my own self. That's the way to deal with that other me in the TV world. As long as there's someone like that snot-nosed kid to accept me, I ain't afraid of nothing. Sir, it's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put those dolls of mine up for sale at the shop. They were a big hit with that kid and his mom. They called me just to say thank you. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. Oh, I gotta go buy supplies. I need a jet.
Huh. <laughs> Sorry for barging in like this. I thought it'd be a good place. Oh, first though, there's one more thing I figured out. Rise stopped by our store the other day. She said the dolls were cute, so I told her I made them. Then she said that was creepy. Kind of stung, but I kept on showing her the other stuff I made. And in the end, she said, maybe you're an amazing guy after all. Pissed me off the way she said it, but that aside, I get it now. This is what he was talking about. Just been throwing in the towel all this time. Of course no one could understand me. I've been keeping my distance out of fear. So I decided that I'd do things my way, no matter how tough. But it ain't just about hanging out with guys who understand you and telling the rest to get bent. You gotta make an effort if you want people to understand you. I wasn't even trying. Not just about my hobby, but like when the police suspected me. It didn't even cross my mind to try to tell them my story. I let them think whatever they want. And because of that, you, Ma, and that kid all got dragged into it. I didn't put in the slightest effort to try and make them understand. It's easier for me to act tough. So from now on, I got two rules. Rule one, be myself. Rule two, get people to understand me. I want you to have this, Senpai. This thing's me being me. Now I can say it straight out. Huh? That other me is me. This? For reals? <laughs> I get it. So I've become a little stronger, huh? You're my hero, dude. And my best bud.
So as far as getting other people to understand me, today I'm holding the Oven Mitt Puppets 101 class right here. Don't worry, even you can do it. It'll be real cute. Believe me. <laughs> Sheesh. Kidding?
should I have been born? I'm sorry. I'm scared. Thank you, mister.
<laughs> Let's start over as a family. Mr. Thank you. <laughs> About this.
I'm going to think about my life and set my own path. <laughs> because I just realized that. We can play baseball together sometime, though. And now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. Take a look at this. Namatame's in today's paper. So it's finally over. Yeah, seriously. 
I wish we could have done it sooner. Isn't the fog kind of thick this morning? And it's so chilly. <sighs> it rarely gets this cold in November. Oh, it's you guys. Perfect timing. I just got a call from the hospital. They said that starting today, it's okay to visit Nanako-chan. So she's getting a little better. Thank goodness. Oh, is that today's paper? So you already know about him. Two counts of kidnappings and murder and five counts of attempted murder. Those are serious crimes. I think it'll go down in history as one of the worst sprees in Japan. He's still mentally unstable, but we're slowly piecing together a story. This is still a secret, but I guess it's okay to tell you guys. You know that diary we found? There were entries about Miss Yamano and Miss Konishi in it. Looks like Namatame had been making advances on Miss Konishi. That son of a bitch! Yeah, well, I'm gonna head to the hospital now. Dojima-san's recovering too, so I need to go over a few things about this case with him. Yosuke. Sorry, I'm all right. Namatame's been caught. He can't hurt anyone now. But forget him. Let's all go visit Nanako-chan after school. Of course! Let's tell the others once we get to school. Nanako, everyone's here to see you. <laughs> Big bro. Dojima-san! Ugh, how many times does this make it today? I understand that you're worried about your daughter, but you still need your rest, too. <clears throat> Sorry. Um... Are your injuries that bad? Hmm. Well, my wounds have just closed up, and it seems I have a couple of fractures as well. I'm sorry. I'll wheel him back to his room immediately. What are you apologizing for? It's almost time for your checkup, so make sure you're back in your room before then. Her condition is stable for now, but, uh, I never thought I'd say this as a doctor, but we still can't figure out the cause of Nanako-chan's symptoms. That's why we can only administer temporary treatments to alleviate her current pains. But she's not in danger anymore, is she? She's regained consciousness, but we can't let our guard down yet. All we can do for now is to monitor her condition closely. <sighs> Adachi, how's it going with Namatame? Well, he's awake now, but he's in no condition to tell us anything useful. We only get a little time each day to interrogate him, so we're stuck until his strength recovers. I see. I should get back to work as soon as possible. Hopefully by then, Nanako will be out of the hospital. Um, I think Nanako-chan can get more peace and quiet if she stays here. It's so foggy out. And there's been some weird rumors going around. Seems like no one knows why there's so much fog in town. It's true. The number of patients complaining about fog-related health problems has increased, which is quite unusual. I can't say for sure that it has no effect on the human body. It certainly could be a psychological effect, 
People's anxiety over the fog could cause problems, but as far as the fog's chemical makeup, well, that's not my field, so I can only speculate. What concerns me is that transportation of our medical supplies has been delayed due to the fog. Fog-related health problems. Well, that's just ridiculous. Anyone who says that is just blowing smoke. Isn't this weather strange? How could it be lasting so long? I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what's causing it. It's so creepy. I heard that a friend of mine's son got sick from the fog and collapsed. You know how sensitive children are to that sort of thing. I heard something too. They say an old man was driving through the fog and got into an accident. What? Did he lose control? Well, he'd never been in an accident or even gotten a ticket before, so something seems off. Isn't that scary? I've even heard there are experts saying it's poisonous. I wonder if that's true. Do you think it's, you know, because of that global warming thing? This town's changed a lot over the years. I wish the government would step in and do something about this. Oh, I agree completely. If we're going to pay taxes, I expect the authorities to do their jobs. This fog is poison! It's a gas filled with viruses! Don't inhale the fog or you'll die! He's not the first one like that I've seen lately. Poisonous gas, though? Oh, I'm sure it's not true. Oh. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh my. I... I think I'm coming down with something. You... you can't be serious. <laughs> oh, that's right. I needed to do some grocery shopping. Well then. Business has been so slow lately.
Senpai? Yes. Senpai! I apologize. again.
Yes. My. Is that so? <laughs> I loved him this much. And because I loved him, it saddened me that he forgot my love. I was a fool. Thank you. <laughs> I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Senpai. Thank you.
I am Yakushiji, secretary of the Shirogane estate. I humbly apologize for the other day. I must also apologize, though I may not have known. I involved you in this. It was an act put on by my grandpa. My master has been terribly saddened by Naoto-sama's state of affairs lately. Lacking acquaintances to confide in, she devotes every fiber of her being to work. My master wanted Naoto-sama to regain the joy she felt in days past. To regain the feelings when all that she wanted was to be a detective, regardless of her heritage or gender. <sighs> I involved you at my own discretion, believing you to be trustworthy. Please forgive me. I received this from Yakushiji-san. It's the final challenge. A place I'd be fond of. You remembered. The highest place around here is... The hill. Next, what I can't stand to do. There are several possibilities, but... That's right! Did I mention that before? Considering what's at the hill, the most likely answer is the trash can. I have an inkling of what might be there. Let's go, senpai. I forgot this thing even existed. It's the last of the seven tools. The detective's pocketbook. <sighs> All the things I had forgotten about are packed in here. I think Grandpa wanted to remind me of them. This childish game. He's selfish indeed. Forcing me to recall all this now. I was trying so hard. Not to be underestimated. Not to be condescended to. If I solve this town's murder case, then everyone would accept me. They would acknowledge me as the fifth in the Shiragane lineage of detectives. That's what I told myself. I just wanted to be accepted. I wanted to be needed. That's why I fretted and stood on my tiptoes and focused only on solving the case. But the original reason I wanted to become a detective, it was because mysteries intrigued me and I could help people by solving them. That's all. I remember now. Do you recall the time I faced myself in the TV world? It was my task to accept the self who yelled, I want a reason for me to stay. But my reason to stay was not solely to solve the crime. You, everyone, gave me a reason. You gave me a place to stay. I have to be an adult. I have to be a man. With that way of thinking, I was running for myself. I don't need to look for something to change or something to accomplish. I only need to have faith in myself. I think I can accept myself. That I'm a woman. That I haven't yet become the detective I wanted to be. I... I am a woman. And a detective. One who is seeking the truth with you and the others. I'm really glad I came to this town. It's where you and I live, and all the others too.
Senpai. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 